Welcome to the University of Billy Government Policy Series. And today we're looking at foreign aid policy. You may not realize this, but right now taxpayers, their hard-earned money goes to over 200 countries throughout the world. Hey, in Africa, there's 54 countries. We give money to every single one of them. The top five recipients are, of course, Afghanistan and Iraq, Israel, Egypt, and Jordan. All of these countries get in the billions of dollars every single year. Crazy, but the richest country in the world per capita is Qatar, or Qatar, however you pronounce it. I mean, the average citizen there is a millionaire. We even gave them money last year. I mean, it wasn't millions, it was thousands, but still, what on earth could that have gone for? Hey, let me start by giving you or reminding you of the greatest scandal, the most corrupt foreign aid program that has ever come down the pike in the history of the world. It was called Oil for Food. So back in the 1990s, the UN and of course us, we threw crushing economic sanctions against Iraq and Saddam Hussein. And of course, the result of that, their people were starving to death. And so they came up with this program that allowed Saddam to sell oil. And then he was going to use those profits to provide food for his people. <laughs> Pardon me for laughing, but the, the level of stupid that we see within government bureaucracies is just astounding sometimes. Of course, he didn't do that. He literally pocketed not millions, but billions of dollars from that. And if we hadn't gone in there and killed him uh, and did that whole Iraq war thing, this scam would still have been going on just beautifully. So not a big fan of foreign aid for obvious reasons. So here's the one big change I would make. When we look at how we're giving money now, most of it, of course, is in military aid. We're buying guns for people that should never have a gun. You know, I laugh at the Ukraine scandal because the scandal is really not some quid pro quo. It's really not the Biden stuff. It's really that he had the audacity, Trump did, to withhold money. And, of course, the money flowed. He wasn't able to withhold it but for about a month. So Ukraine got like $400 million, 250 military aid and the rest for who knows what. But here's the one big thing I would do. Right now, 14% of all foreign aid goes for humanitarian causes. And you know what? I got to be honest. When I know my money's going to feed or to provide water or some type of health care or something for desperate, needy people, I don't mind that. I would even give more in many cases. So the big change that needs to happen, stop giving military aid. Stop giving money for political reasons. Stop giving money for economic reasons. You know, let Wall Street go over. Man, they could turn the place around. Make sure the majority is humanitarian aid. That would be where I would start.